What's going on guys? It's Shayblader and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Sea Glass. Get ready for a montage because here we go. Oh, a Rhyhorn and a Honchcrow. All right, two trainers down. Harry Mama, and that's three trainers. Make it five trainers in an Ultra Ball. Wobbuffet? Okay. Wait. Uh, uh, okay. If I didn't kill and had counter, I was in trouble. Uh, I don't want your number, Gabriella, but that's eight trainers down. We got a super repel. I wish I could re repel away these trainers. My gosh. All right. Tasha there made nine. Uh, first time I've seen a grand bull this playthrough. And that's 10 trainers. Oh my gosh, a Gengar. That's a new one. Man, this sprite, this Gen 2 sprite of Gengar is intimidating. Uh, okay. Give me, yeah. Valerie, thanks for the number, bestie. And at the top, what do we got? TM30 Shadow Ball, which we could have bought anyway. Oh, a Misdreavus. Okay, Wild Misdreavus. Cool, cool. We've got a Lax Incense here. It's a way to evolve some Pokemon, I believe. Or is it uh, evolving or is it breeding a Munchlax? I can't remember. And here we got a Sea Incense. Raises the power of water type moves. Sounds like it could be good on our Starfish or Gyarados for that matter. And we're back where we started. And I'm getting out of here. All right, that only took me like 10 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. Let's continue our way to Lily Cove today. That's kind of uh, kind of where I need to get to. Let's explore Lily Cove because we got to start heading to Moss Deep soon. And a level 17 Gyarados. What the heck is going on here? I see your Gyarados and I raise you a Gyarados. Oh man, Sunfloor would have been so cool. In this game, it is a fire grass type. Back in Lily Cove, which we have not really explored about at all. So we have some people to talk to, some things to do, a shopping center up above which we can do some shopping in before we got to continue heading east. So let's explore a little bit here in the city. What is in this house? This planet's big mysteries are at the bottom of the sea. Somebody said that, but I don't know. It's true, dude. It's true. There's a deep underwater trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. That's what someone told me anyway. That's also true. You guys are just full of knowledge. Team Aqua's been training their whalemer in the cove. We sailors can get our boats out to sea with them in the way. Don't worry, dude. I'll take care of them. Cove Lily Motel. Remember us as Cove Lily of Lily Cove. Wait, is this... This doesn't... Wait, is this normally here? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Hmm. So we don't think I should bring you Pokemon as attraction. So well, maybe I should make a cute Pokemon or in's mascot. I wonder if that will attract more guests. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was too involved in watching TV since that Team Aqua came to town. The tourists have been staying away. Um, yeah, that's understandable. Is this Scott? Scott, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I was snoozing. I came to check out the city's battle tent. I have to admit, it does look like uh, more fun than the old contest. Consider me a Purius. I prefer battles and tough trainers. But hey, they hold contests in Verdant Turf Town now, so you can still try those. JB, I hope you'll enjoy everything, like the gym's contest, battle tent, the whole works. Yes, I'm not a huge fan of the contest, but... I know some people are really into them. I think they are definitely interesting, so. Do cool Pokemon like that live in the home region? Yep, we do. I got a bunch of cool dragon types here. Mm-hmm. I, I was taking a relaxing snooze at the seaside inn to the sound of waves when someone stole my Pokemon. Who's the abductor? Team Aqua? Is it Team Aqua? Probably. Um, I don't mind helping you. The contests have moved to Verdant Turf Town. Even as we grow old and wrinkled, the sea remains forever young with the vivid brilliance of life. <laughs> It was 60 years ago that my husband rose to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. <laughs> okay. Y'all stop being cute. What do we got here? A peat block. I know what this is for. I know what the peat block is for. I know what the peat block is for. I know, 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 I know. Now here's the question. I can use this right now on Ursaring and get an Ursa Luna, which is very strong but it gets the ground typing. And we're about to take on a lot of watery things. So I'm not gonna do it. Nope, not gonna do it. Don't wanna be weak to water, ain't gonna do it. The battle tent is currently closed for repairs. Sorry about that. Well, how am I supposed to get the poke block thing then? Did you know Pokemon contests used to be held here in Lily Cove? Now they're popular in Verdant Turf Town and a huge battle tent opened here. And the battle tent features are not done yet. Oh my gosh, you guys have a lot of kids. 
When my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked, but now seeing them play together, it makes me happy. Oh my, my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young, good for you. I'm sure my kids could learn a thing or two from you. Me, I'm a master of Pokeblocks. If I get a se if I if I get serious just a little, why, I can c concoct great Pokeblocks. Would you like to learn? <sighs> I'm gonna speed through this. All right, she had nothing of value to say. We got a guy running into the wall here. Come on out, little Pokemon. Don't you want to help make me money? Hey, you, this isn't any of your business. I mean, what do you need? How can I get you to leave? I got it. You seem adventurous, sorts. Uh, I'm sure you've tried the scuba safari in Pacific Block Time. I'm the brother of the sailor who runs it. How about I send him a message to reset your high score? Eh? Then you can get those sweet high score rewards. I'll, I'll only charge you a No, dude. Get the... Dude, you're sketchy. I don't like that. City Harbor. I heard there's a tower somewhere out on the sea routes. It's called the Sky Pillar Tower. I hear it. Yep, you'd be right. I, I It exists out there. Wait, how do I get the Pokeblock thingy if I can't go in here? Uh, they, maybe they just disabled that feature. I'm just going to assume they disabled that feature. Um, okay. Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. Let's go in here. Whenever anyone says my favorite trainer is Duford's Gym Leader Brawly. Everyone here, we're all huge fans of Pokemon battles. We discuss who we consider to be the strongest of all trainers. If you were to become famous, we might even become your fans. Mm-hmm. I want some fans. My favorite trainer is cool, strong, and really nice. I wish there was a trainer like that. Yeah, I'm not any of those things. If this whole wide world becomes Oz Team Aqua, it would be happy a place for Pokemon too. I don't think so. We moved more loot into our secret hideout today. H who are you? I, I was talking to myself. Hmm, you know of a peculiar cavern in this cove that has been a natural formation, but then the Team Aqua lot came along and made their renovations. They call themselves the nature-loving Team Aqua, but what they do and what they say don't match at all. Wow, you are describing a lot of things, my dude. Hmm? Well, what was that? I'm not near awake yet. You can have this. TM44. Yeah, sleep is essential for good health. Sleep and regain health. Okay. Well, I guess that's rest. But I ain't ready to rest, my dude. Let's look for some hidden items down here on the beach. Hey, a heart scale. We can get these to a move tutor and relearn some moves if we ever need to. And a Pokeball. We'll turn that down. We also get an encounter for Lily Cove. Let's check the Dex Nav. We got a Whalmer and one other Pokemon that we have not yet discovered that we could catch here. So, with that being said, let's do it. And it's going to involve me going back and forth for like 20 minutes, probably. Okay, I've been doing this for like five minutes. I, I give up. I'll, I'll come back and we'll get an encounter in a little bit. There's still more stuff in the town I want to explore. Hey, you! Don't go near the cave in the cove. Why? You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so you just have to listen to me. Uh, I don't know about that one, my dude. Move to leader's house. Unwanted Pokemon moves deleted. Well, this is no longer useful because they got rid of that feature in this game. Pokemon are partners to people. They aren't our tools. Unfortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that. So true, my dude. When it gets right down to it, the same way suits suit me perfectly. A crisp brief suits the sea, and you a berry suits you to a T. Why should that be so? Obtained the cherry berry. When it gets right down to it, it's because you are a trainer. Sure. And I see a face I recognize here. This looks like Lyra. Let's give her a chat. Oh, hey, GB. Are you shopping too? I bought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Of course, I've also got a lot of Pokemon. I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising Pokemon properly, JB. I'll battle with you. So you can show me your Pokemon. The Pokemon I raised won't be beaten by your Pokemon, JB. Oh man, Lyra has said that every single time, and every single time she has been defeated. So we're gonna start with a good old Tropius. And we have an ice type move on scales here, so I think we're gonna be fine. Oh, I misclicked. Okay, well, waterfall it is. I'm gonna go with the air slash. Okay. We are just a tad uh over leveled for your Tropius to have a chance, my dude. Starfish is even catching up. Look at that, up to level 34. And then Swampert. Now, Swampert's interesting because I actually don't have, like, any... I don't really have much that can deal with Swampert. I mean, Bucket gets Grab Apple, I guess. So let's go into Grab Apple. Let's go into Bucket and use Grab Apple. Protect. Okay. Sure. And that is a great Swampert sprite, by the way. Yeah, Grab Apple. Double super effective. And this is another reason Bucket being a ground type just doesn't help me in this game <laughs> as Ursa Luna. Like, it's just going to gain weaknesses. And uh, I think the normal typing is just better. 
let's see what we got up next. A Lude Colo. We've seen Lude Colo once or twice before. And uh, the results have been the same every time. Headbutt just does a lot. Oh, we got a lucky flinch. Bucket, you are the MVP of this run, I'm telling you. Ursa Ring is just insanely good. If I get an Eviolite too, which will double its defensive stats, I believe. Very good. And we got a Ninetales here with Drought. But I get Bulldoze. Oh, a critical hit too, Bucket. You don't... Okay, you're just showing off now, my man. Or my girl. Bucket's a female, that's right. Bucket, you're too good, sweetie. I remember the battle I had with you, JB, on round 103. That battle helped you become this strong, JB, didn't it? Hmm, sure. I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. I've got a decent group of Pokemon, and my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going home to show my dad. JB, what are you going to do? Collect all the gym badges and take on the Pokemon League challenge? Well, while you're collecting badges, JB, I'm going to work on my Pokedex. I'll complete it before you. See you soon. Um... Press X to doubt, my dude. Up here, we've got an art museum. This art museum, well, you could see many fantastic paintings, and the curator is a wonderful person. Among artists like myself, this museum is an inspiration. Battling with Pokemon is fun, I'll grant you that, but one mustn't forget our love for the fine arts. I'm the curator of this museum of fine arts. It's heartening to see someone so young as you in our museum. Have you viewed our collection of paintings already? Uh, sure, saw it. Oh, I do believe that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you an interest in painting too? Uh, sure. Ah, oh, excellent. You do like painting then. May I ask you to come with me? This is our special exhibit hall. As you can plainly see, there is not a single painting on the exhibit here. I don't wish to exhibit works so-called classical art. Such classical work you can see on the ground floor. I wish to exhibit work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old famous works. In this exhibit hall, I wish to fulfill it with modern and vibrant artworks of Pokemon seemingly ready to spring forth in glorious life. I beg your pardon? I didn't intend to monopolize the conversation. Now, as you are young and yet obviously well-traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, may we ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here? Sure. Makes sense to me. It's a picture frame with red colored adornments. I forget what this is useful for, but here we go. Okay. Oh, I, I think this is actually like, they paint your contest wins if you, if you win the master ranks. I think that's it. I'm an art dealer. I am a buyer and seller of fine art, especially paintings. I've heard that the museum here has magnificent works on exhibit. Let's check out this gigantic shop and see if there's anything good for us to grab. Today, my mom is going to buy me some nice furniture. Okay. Sounds good to me. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. All shoppers at our department store get to draw a Pokemon Lotto ticket. If the Lotto ticket number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you will receive a fabulous gift. Would you like to play? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. What did we win? The lotto ticket number is 15735. I need to run a quick check. Oh, let's just run a quick check real quick. I'm sorry, none of the numbers matched. Please do visit again. Oh, dang it. We'll get them next time. Don't you worry, guys. Well, let's do a little bit of shopping before we finish up today. They've got all the medicine items. All the Pokeballs. Speaking of Pokeballs, let's pick up some more Ultra Balls while we're here. My husband is waiting at home. What would make a good gift for him? You should get him... A Pokeball, I guess. I don't know. What does he like? I'd like to get all the different TMs, but a Pokemon learns only four moves. That's true. You got to choose wisely. And on this floor, they have a ton of decorations for your secret base, which I have no real interest in doing. Although I will say the like collecting furniture and making secret bases and stuff is a fun little mini thing that you can do in the game. And I definitely remember spending time to uh, grind up some of this stuff in the original Pokemon Emerald game, playing it when I was young. Definitely brings back some memories, but for this playthrough, for this challenge, not gonna partake. When I see the wide world from up here on the roof, I think about how nice it would be if there were more than just one me so I could enjoy all sorts of lives. Of course, it's not possible. Giggle, I know. Would you be interested in having a Pokemon learn substitute? Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, not right now. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty. Okay. Don't they have a set date for their clearance sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. Dude, that sounds like a that sounds like a win. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Pokemon Emerald Sea Glass. We gotta go clear out Team Aqua out of the Lily Cove Cove in the next one, and then make our way eastward. See you in the next episode.